Hey guys, I'm gonna start you out on uh, wobbly mode here for just a minute because um, I did an unboxing video of a uh, an airplane that I'm doing for a uh, a group build for my forum that I'm a part of. Um, it's a great place. I said that in the uh, last video, I think, about the Rolls Royce, but um, yeah, if you were ever a part of an old school forum on the internet, um, this has recaptured that it's super active and everybody that's a part of it is awesome. But um, I did want to do a quick update on the uh, Naked Models group build. Um, I got the, uh, sorry, I'm just uh, struggling right now. I think everybody's a little under the weather with the weather and everything we're having. Um, don't worry about the cat. Got the interior decals, the carbon fiber decals. Came with the kit as well. Um, and all these kit decals have not aged well. They looked okay. I thought they were going to be good. I've never really been a big fan of Tamiya decals. Um, I did get some red on the... Uh, on the prancing horse, I just used a sharpened colored pencil. It's not super defined, but um, you know, once it's in there, you'll just see the little spot of red anyway. It's very small. Engines all mounted in there, which I'm really happy with how that looks. Um, the velocity stacks, I chromed them and they look nice, but you know, they're going to have like an air cleaner type of a deal on top. Uh, the red and gold is just Sharpie. Um, oh yeah, I got the, uh, also the gate. Oh, this is kind of cool. The bulkhead has a, uh, window so you can see through to the engine or through to the interior. Uh, that Sharpie work on the vents. And then I did the decals for the gauges in there. And the, uh, prancing horse on the steering wheel, plus some red and silver and white on the buttons. And then, um, I did the bare metal foil. For the heat shielding in the engine bay there i mean it, this has just been a blast i'm having a really really great time building this chassis is all done um basically i have to add some radiators at the front and some piping that goes to the back to cool the engine sorry i'm just doing this by hand because i wasn't planning on doing it but i made some more progress last night i'm really hoping to finish this up i don't know maybe tonight <clears throat> Maybe tomorrow. Excuse me. Um, the fender units got their carbon decals. The carbon decals worked a little better than the regular ones, but man, everything just wanted to crumble. You can see I got some had some issues getting these to lay down. I'll probably just hit these again, poke some holes, and hit them again with some set or something. Uh, snuggle them down in there. Uh, these vents got it too. Um, like I said, I've never been a fan of Tamiya decals, and when you add some age to them, they really seem to struggle, so I did clear coat them, um, not the carbon ones, because I didn't want them to be super thick, but I did clear coat the, uh, uh, the interior ones, and it still didn't matter, they just shattered, um, which is fine, you know, it's, it is what it is, it's an old kit, 2003 or something like that, uh, Sometimes that's the way it is. There's supposed to be a silver and black decal down in the passenger footwell, so I just used a silver Sharpie instead because that was the one that shattered. Figured if it disappeared that nobody would really notice it anyways. Oh, I got these on here too. I think these are ah, uh, part of the door hinge mechanism. We can't really see them. I'm sorry. There we go. Anyways. Yeah, my apologies for the video quality, but uh, that's that update, and uh, I'm going to pause it, and I actually want to go to the computer real quick. I'm going to show you a couple of channels that I've been watching, new channels. I just wanted to shout them out, so I'm um, going to do that, and then I'm going to get into the, the original video that I shot, which was the unboxing of the uh, FW190 airplane. So uh, after this, watch the shoutouts. If you don't care about airplanes, then you can just... Get on out of here, so appreciate you guys. Have a great weekend. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, 
just wanted to show off a couple of uh, pretty new channels I've been watching. Um, you know, I don't know. I know I don't have a ton of subscribers myself, but uh, if some of you guys that are subscribed to me and haven't found these guys yet, go check them out. Will is at 1968 Ford Man. Um, he's got some really great stuff on here. Um, I just watched uh, this one the other day. Uh, he had a little couple week break there. This is when I found him. Uh, but uh, you can see some of his work there. Um, really nice looking builds. Um, and uh, he's always supporting my channel, so I just I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Guys, go over and let's bump this number up if we can. Um, be great. And the other one is my friend from Bubba's Model Car Shop, um, Mike. He's a member of. Uh, a Facebook group um, I'm in as well um, and uh, he's just sort of getting going with his channel as well um, he was trying to figure out how to do videos which he has now so he's he's got this he's got this thing moving he got a, he got his vid first video out before that he would just done a couple shorts so um, yeah he's he's really just getting started but if you go check him out, there's uh, I mean, you can see he does some really great work himself too. So I just wanted to give those guys a shout out. They're just getting going on the YouTube thing, and I had a lot of support when I got started, and I still have a lot of support. So um, that was uh, that's it, guys. Um, pause this again and uh, get into the actual meat of my video. So if you're not into the World War II aircraft, then you guys have a great weekend, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, uh, Justin from J-Heart said um, he never got the shop card I sent him. So if you guys haven't gotten the shop card and we've corresponded about it, let me know, because I've, I've had them all mailed out. So, uh, you know, sometimes they disappear in the mail. So just let me know. Shoot me an email again, whatever. Uh, appreciate you guys. First things first. Uh, if you're just here for model car content, then you can just skip this video. Don't even watch it. I mentioned when I started my channel that I would probably dabble in some other things from time to time. And this is going to be one of those dabbles. Um, I've mentioned also the uh, forum that I'm, a, that I'm a part of. Um, once again, if you have any interest in joining that, please email me. I will put my email below. Um, it really is an awesome place, and uh, I can send you a link to the website. Um, there's some great builders, some great people. They're doing a FW190 group build over there this year. Um, and um, I do love particularly propeller-driven, piston-driven, um, piston-engined aircraft, uh, World War II fighters, you know, dive bombers, the Zero, I love the Zero, <coughs> the Stuka, um, you know, Hurricanes, P-40s, uh, P-38s, uh, I love Twin Boom, I love the Big Bombers, I, I just, all that stuff. History in general has always been a huge interest to me, but uh, the FW-190 is a great looking bird, and I'd never tried one before, so I decided to jump in on their group build, and uh, I'm just going to unbox this. I want to have a you know, record of what it was uh, before I started, and uh, it even comes with Major Herman Graf, this is his aircraft. Um, very fancy livery and camo that he had. Um, there's a story behind that I might get into more later, um, you know, for this particular airplane and livery. <coughs> I've never done the Luftwaffe modeled camo before. Um, so that'll be interesting. That'll be a learning experience. I do like the yellow nose. It's, it's pretty sharp. Um, you know, 
lots of uh, horrible things, obviously, that the Nazis did, but um, I think they did have uh, some nice-looking aircraft, and uh, as did the Japanese, I think. So they had some really cool military stuff, which, um, yeah, it's unfortunate. But uh, here's my messy bench. Uh, I'll get into this. Uh, I need to reorganize my bench, but for now, we're just going with it. Maybe start out with this, bag it right back up. Uh, beautiful canopy. Put that back in the bag so it stays like that. Here I'm trying to knock the camera over already. I guess my flash wants to be, in, be on right now, which, whatever. Um, this is the first tree. Got some wheels, uh, the cowling, and the uh, fuselage halves. Which it looks like the, uh, the wings are going to go on the bottom when we, when we close this up. Um, maybe with this big opening, I wonder if the cockpit slides through the bottom too. Uh, I've never built, I, I have built one Hasegawa, it was a B-25, and uh, that went pretty well. It did have a little, it had a pretty sizable gap at the front of the cowling of the B-25 where the, the nose glass is, but uh, I've heard good things about this kit. Um, maybe some landing gear struts. I'm not sure, and some doors and flaps and whatnot, elevators, whatever they are, and this one <clears throat> looks like we maybe we have a drop tank, the engine, which you know you're not gonna be able to see it deep back in that cowling, but I might try to pick out some um, push rods or something in a lighter color so it shows some. color on there obviously too and then yeah here we go thought so the wings are gonna push up from the bottom and it does have uh, looks like posable flaps there um, here's the other half of the wings and the uh, cockpit I'm gonna have some uh, I'm gonna try out some of those 3d decals on this I think the Kinta Studios or whatever. I've used the Edward Photo Etch stuff before, but I'm going to try out the uh, 3D decals on this one and see see what we think about those. Um, here is Herman. I'm going to build Herman. A, not really a figure guy, and he's very tiny, but we're going to build him, and he's probably going to look like the Crypt Keeper or some horrible monster or something, but... Uh, Still, it's all about learning. Uh, here's the uh, history lesson about the FW190. Um, they were originally powered by a BMW um, engine that made about 2100 horsepower, and then later on they were uh, upgraded to even more powerful uh, engine. And then, um, let's see. This one doesn't really say anything about this particular aircraft, but I have read about it before. I think he was in charge of training some uh, new pilots when he had this particular livery, but this is a typical Hasegawa uh, instruction sheet. If you've ever built anything Hasegawa, you will be comfortable with this. They got the uh, color callouts, lots of Luftwaffe colors there, and then the marking guide stencils and uh, iron crosses and swastikas and uh, all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, typical Hasegawa sheet. Now this, and I know not, sometimes you get these kits and it looks like this is removable so if um, some countries don't let you have the, uh, you have to source the swastikas through the aftermarket. Um, but so it looks like they could easily cut this off and sell it without them. But my boxing has has them on there. Those go. I don't even show them on the box art because of that. 
but those will go right here where this diamond is. Um, I will put those on there. Um, it's a historical aircraft, and it will get marked as such. And um, yeah, it's a really nice decal sheet. It even has um, some really nice gauge decals here. Uh, some really nice cockpit decals. Very bright. It's going to be a fun build. Um, and that's really all I got for this video. Like I said, I know most of the people watching my channel are here for the automotive stuff, and I will continue to do that the vast majority of the time. But every now and then, I'll build an airplane, I will build maybe sci fi. I'll build, <clears throat> I mean, at some point I plan to try an armor kit. I've never done that yet, but it's in the works. I've got a couple of them now. Um, so we'll try that out one day. Uh, but all of it will be on the channel. I want to, it's one of the reasons I started the channel was to just document the kits that I've built and when I built them and, uh, you know, what they looked like. So I will do these random unboxings and uh, and random subjects, I guess, on the channel. So if you watched it, appreciate it. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, that's awesome. Uh, I like anything pretty much with an engine and some things without. Uh, anything history related I'm into. And uh, I've always been a sci-fi fan from when I was a kid, but I just... Uh, you know, if you don't like the stuff and don't watch, I get that too. So, appreciate all of you. Uh, if you want a shop card, email will be in the description. If you're interested in the forum, shoot me an email. Uh, I'll send you the link to the website, and you can check it out. Super positive place and a bunch of great builders over there. So, uh, yeah, everybody have a great week, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon.